let's talk about graphing log equations. So what if we have something like y equals log 2 of x? Um, I think the easiest way to graph these is to make a table x and y. But instead of plugging in for x, let's turn this into the exponent equation. So 2 to the y equals x. And then let's plug in values for y and see what comes out for x. Um, so let's just plot um, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. So 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4. We're, we're doubling this way, so we're going, or we're halving going back this way. So it's so 1 half and 1 fourth there. So let's go ahead and put that on a graph. So um, 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1 half, negative 1, and fourth, negative 2. Looking something like this. Um, so that's kind of like the general shape of all log graphs. They, they have an asymptote at x equals 0. And then um, they, they come up and kind of level off where the, the corner is around like, um, the x-intercept. That's kind of where it starts to really level off and start going horizontal instead of going vertical this way. Um, so that's like the elbow of the graph. Um, so, so, so something kind of interesting about all, um, all log graphs is that um, no matter what you plug in for the base here, it'll always go through this point here. So let's let's um, let's try graphing y equals log five of x. Then we've got x five to the y is x. So when we plug in y is zero, x is just five to the zero. So that's one. Um, whatever we put in the base, when we plug in y is zero, it's just going to be base to the zero power. So x will always be one there. Um, so that goes, our, our graph here is going to go through this point here. Um, now instead of doubling, when we increase y, we're going to be times five. Um, so it's going to look something like this, 1, um, oh, x goes 5 here, and then it goes to 1, um, and negative 1, oh, I did this backwards, yeah, that should not be, that's negative 1, that's negative 2, and that's one fifth. That's one twenty fifth. Okay. Um, so x is one fifth, and then y is negative one. Um, so when we got this now, it looks something like that. Um, so this base here just kind of controls how sharp the turn here is. Um, if we take log of a really big log. Um, base a really big number of x, then the turn is going to be really sharp. It's going to be going up really fast and then suddenly like dive to the right really quickly and then be pretty much flat. If we take log of a smaller base, uh, then it's going to it's going to be a more gradual gradual turn. Um, so that's 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 the general shape of all log graphs and how they kind of compared to each other when you change the, the base.